books are to be read and not used as decorations. Los libros son para leer y no se utilizan como adornos. Okay, so now we both know we need to work in that Spanish, don't we? Books are expensive to be sure, but they are so important. Through books we learn about others and other worlds. We sympathize and we emphasize with others and we're better human beings for it. Through books our imagination is vitalized and we see things we could never have seen without books. Through our imagination and with the aid of books we smell, we feel, we touch and experience above and beyond our immediate world and senses. But books are expensive. There are some creative ways, however, whereby we can acquire books. Expensive books. One way is to visit our local library. Yes, they do sell their old books. And after all, knowledge is knowledge, no matter the year. There's also the flea market, yard sales, and thrift stores. But the best way, the very best way to get a specific book is via the internet. Go to my website and then click on the private store link. And then input the book you seek, that very specific book. And there it is. Chances are you can get that book for way less than $5. It won't be new to be sure. But then you're purchasing the book for the information it contained, not for the way it looks. And after all, a used book contained the same information as a new book. And if you're really lucky, the previous reader might have highlighted all the really good spots for you. We ought to save the trees and recycle books. Read a book you have not read before. Salvor los arboles. Save the trees. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. It was not too long ago a very talented golfer, a minority to be sure, fell from grace because of his behavior. But did the way he was treated have anything to do with the history of golf? Probably not. Or not. Reading about golf, its history towards some people, and about the golfer himself, would give you a vantage point that would be greater than 90% of the people that voiced their opinion. People who don't read, it would seem, base their opinions on the opinions of others who don't read either, who based their opinions on the opinions of people who are naturally misinformed or who are putting out information because they know you're talking to people who simply don't read. Then again, maybe because you are a reader, you would have found other subjects that were far more important, more telling, more relevant than that man's indiscretion. <sighs> My Spanish is terrible, but I want to learn to speak Spanish. My prediction is that in the not too distant future, the advantage will go to the person who took the time to learn other languages. So, I am off to find a book in Spanish. A book on playing the guitar. A book on keyboards. Latin. About golf. And cooking. Arawak Indians. Paraguay and Peru. Architecture. And about archaeology. Not to be an expert, to be sure. I don't wish to be an expert in anything, really. Because that would require me to devote all my time to that one specific subject. That would be boring, I think. But I'd love to be a Renaissance man. I would enjoy knowing something about everything, wouldn't you? Buenos dias, mi amigo y mi amiga. Hasta luego.